how y'all doing? Okay, so today I'm coming at you with an updated review on this super cute Cabas Piano tote bag. This is the smallest of the Cabas series. You've probably seen my video on the Cabas Mezzo, which in my opinion is a super great option um, tote. It's similar to, well, I guess the Neverfull, except that it has these more generous straps that are thicker and anyway if you're not familiar with it just go to my channel and and search it and you'll see um it's a great bag and then of course the mama of the three which is the Cobus alto i do not have a review on that bag i have seen it in person i've held it it is huge it's a beachy tote um unlike the Cobus piano and Cobus mezzo it does not have a zipper closure but anyway um like i said as soon as i get these bags over i like to do updated reviews just because you know, I don't know, I just, I'd like to do videos. Okay, so let's go over the measurements again. So this one is 13 inches wide by 12 inches tall. No, sorry, I was giving you the mezzo. Scratch that, <laughs> rewind. Okay, 12 and a half inches wide by nine and a half inches tall by 4.75 inches deep. Yeah, when I was reading that first one, I'm like, this isn't no 12 inches tall. So anyway, yeah, um, it's got a zipper closure, as you can see. And the inside has that kind of, you know, material that's like inside of the speedy bags. It does have an old cell phone pocket right here. It has a decent size pocket over here. Um, I, I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's um, decent compared to the size of the bag. I mean, obviously, it's not gonna, there's not going to be a jumbo pocket in here. And then there is a D-ring on this side. You can see it has a zipper closure. And I actually forgot to measure the handles and I don't think I even have it in my bag. No, I don't. But, and I don't even have my, okay, you know what, I do. I do have my measuring tape and so I know you're probably wondering what the strap drop is. So bear with me while I check for you. Here we go. Okay, so the strap drop is going to be about nine inches, almost nine inches. So it's not gonna pass the elbow test, or at least for me, um, you know, if you're a petite gal and you don't have orangutan arms like I do, then you it might pass the elbow test for you. But it's not going to pass for me. You are going to have to put it, or I have to put it up on my shoulder. Um, the bottom does not have feet. It just has that big leather piece, you know, that you've seen on the Compass Mezzo. Same exact, um, you know, look as the Mezzo, except that it's smaller. And this is a great bag for people who have maybe seen the Mezzo and just go, you know, that's just a little too big for me. Or if you've seen the Neverfull MM and you go, oh, you know what? That bag is super cute, but it's just too big. Um, and they do have a PM size in the Neverfull. I know that. But if you prefer a smaller tote and you want a zipper closure and you want a decent size handle because, you know, it's fine. I mean, yeah, you have to place it on your shoulder, but it's okay. And there is like, you know, so here's my armpit. And so, you know, there's a little bit of room. I mean, you know, I don't know. I guess if you want to carry it like that, I would. I mean, I would carry it like this. And I'll get up on this chair so you can see. Um, okay, yeah. So, I would carry it like this. But, you know, you can also just carry it in the crook of your elbow. And then you actually can just carry it as a, as a hand carry as well. But anyway, this is just a really nice little compact size, compact version of Mezzo. And it will fit, though, a full-size wallet. In fact, I'll show you my... I've been using my Zippy organizer, and if uh, you're curious about this organizer, I have a comparison between this, the organizer, and just the regular traditional Zippy wallet. There is only a half inch difference in the length and the height, and then the depth was similar. I can't remember now exactly, but it was very similar. So anyway, it's not that much bigger, even though it's called an organizer. It really just has a different setup inside, but as far as the size, it's very similar to the Zippy wallet. So. This is the organizer, which is the bigger of the two, and it fits in here with no trouble. Okay, see? And you still have room on the side over there. Um, I was gonna see in this zip pocket. Okay, so I have a six, uh, what is this? Six plus, and I, I'm gonna see if this will fit in here. Okay, well, all right, so here's the deal. And see, I'm doing a wonky to get it. You're not gonna wanna put this six plus in like this. Number one, it has no case. So obviously if it did have a case, it would be a lot more bulky and you would not be able to put it, even if you go down and to the right, you're still not going to be able to do that with a case on it. And even without a case, I don't know if you saw me, but it was kind of a pain, you know, kind of pulled up some of the fabric 
of the inside of the pocket just to get it out. So, I mean, you know, like that's really how it goes at best for side to side. But, you know, it does fit up and down and it doesn't stick out too much and it's fine. Now, if you have a smaller phone, so I have this phone here and it's a, uh, this is a 5C and it will fit in here. You saw that, no trouble. And you could even fit two, you know, two 5Cs. You could even have a case on it and it would be fine. I should have got my... My daughter, my youngest daughter, uses my 5C, I think, actually I think it's just a 5, as an iPod, and she has, I made her put an OtterBox, or what, an, I bought an OtterBox case for her because she's like me, she's a bull in a china closet, and you know, I told her, you break that screen, you ruin it, sorry, mama's done buying stuff, so, anyway, I bought it pre-loved, and anyway, it doesn't matter, but if you did have a case, a chunky case, on a smaller phone, you are going to be able to fit it in this pocket, side to side, and then of course, up and down. In fact, you would be able to even zip it if you put it up and down because the 5C is so small. Not sure about how it would go with the case though. Um, I have to see. Well, no. With the case, you probably wouldn't be able to zip it, but that's okay. Um, and then you've got the cell phone, the old cell phone pocket on the other side. Now look, um, if you don't have a case on your 5C or one of those small phones, it actually fits in there. So some of the old cell phone pockets seem to be a little bit smaller. This one doesn't seem like it's that same size. It could be, I don't know. I just, I've never actually tried to put the 5C in there like that, but obviously it fits. I use the old cell phone pockets for um, my little Tic Tac gum because it's a perfect fit. And then, you know, I also use my, uh, also have, sorry, or, and or, the hand, hand sanitizer. That fits, this is actually a great pocket for these. And then also, um, my little bird bees. So those two things are, are the main two things that I put in my little old cell phone. If I have bags that have the old cell phone pocket, that's what I use them for. Because I really like, I get to these things a lot and I like that. I like that, you know, it's just, it's convenient. Okay, so you can see my wallet actually just fell over. It's laying flat on the ground, on the ground, on the bottom of the bag. And then it would fit, you know, I have my accessory pochette. Okay, I did not, oh, sorry, I took it out whenever I was getting that measuring tape. So this is the accessory pochette, and you've seen this bag. If you're not familiar with the dimensions of it, I don't have it handy like, well, I do, but I'm not going to waste the video going over it. I do have an update review on it, and you can see, but it does fit in here, no trouble. So, I mean, if you were just carrying these two things, and you can actually still fit something else, but like, you know, if you don't really typically carry a lot, and you mainly just need your wallet, and then some sort of other little kind of cosmetic-y bag, that would organize all of your other stuff. This is perfect. You got these two things. And then I was just going to see. Okay, so I have this other pushchet that I use. It's the mid size. This is not a mini. It came with like a bucket bag or some other bag. I don't know. I bought it just like this pre loved. Um, but anyway, it would fit in here. It's not going to fit in here side to side, but it is going to fit up and down. So there you go. And so see, it's a nice. So even though it's small, like it's actually quite nice. I mean, you know, it's not too terribly um, uh, tight. And if you don't even carry a zippy wallet, like a bigger wallet, you know, I always carry these bigger wallets. If you have like a smaller compact wallet, now this is an MCM. It is similar to the uh, Kiss Lock wallet. It's a little bit, let me certainly think, it's a little bit wider than the Kiss Lock. And I think, well, the depth is probably the same. But anyway, if you have a smaller compact wallet, well, then you're saving even more room. Okay, so then you've got your small wallet, you've got your accessory pochette or something similar, and then you've got the other one here and, you know, trouble. So, yeah, you um, actually have quite a bit of room in this little bag. It's kind of, these PM bags never get my attention until I start, like, doing videos and putting stuff in them. And then I'm like, okay, you know what? I say that I couldn't do a bag like this. If I had to, or if I just wanted to downsize for the sake of travel or something, I mean, yeah, it works. You know, it definitely works. Like, I could totally use this to, for travel, and it would still, you know, carry most of the stuff that I carry on a daily basis anyway. So anyway, just want to do an update review on this because it's been a while since I've um, had this bag. And this one is actually available in my group. Um, I really, actually, you know what, I shouldn't say that in my videos because the videos stay forever and then people are like, do you still have that bag? And they... They sell so fast that, anyway. So anyway, um, if you're not already a member of my group, please join. I also have a page. You can join my page, or I think you just like pages. And then Instagram, I'm not that active on Instagram, but I still do have it. I actually have had a lot of great referrals, even from Instagram, even though I'm not on there very much. 
But anyway, I hope this was helpful, and I'll be talking to you real soon. Okay, bye!